Hi guys and welcome. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at a, a new coffee gadget and this is a hand presso clone. This is the Greenhouse Portable Espresso Maker which comes um, simply but elegantly and, and well packaged in a box. So we're just going to do a sort of what's in the box. Slide this open, pop that aside and there's another box within, oops, which is upside down, pop that over the right way. So um, it's, it's two sleeves, one within the other as you can see. So it's very well packaged and it's got a little, little, even got a little hole there to pull it out of the other box. So we've pop that open and inside we've got the, the espresso machine and a user manual. So I'll just pop that down there and a quick look at the user manual, which is laid out quite well. Uh, general instructions, please read, take the time to read the instruction manual. Um, the portable espresso machine is intended for personal use. It is not suitable for commercial, professional, collective or industrial use. Well, duh. Uh, that's obviously stands to reason. That's logical because uh, can you imagine trying to run a cafe with one of these um, in rush hour? That wouldn't be particularly good, would it? But anyway, uh, use of the portable espresso machine in any manner other than directed could cause harm to persons and, and void the warrant, avoid the warranty, obviously avoid the warranty. Um, it's actually laid out very well, it's written very well and given some of the things I've bought cheaply on eBay and some of the instructions that I've, I've read and had to sort of interpret a little, uh, it's actually written and laid out very very well indeed. Uh, do, 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 so yeah it's just a, a general sort of layout of uh, general use what to do and what not to do and then you've got instructions on use showing an exploded diagram of the parts uh, follows on on the next page and then some tips notes and warning and then how to clean on the last page so that's quite a nice little instruction book which is uh, which is very good because a lot of the times when you get something um, when you get things from eBay the instructions can be uh, hit and miss or sometimes non-existent at all so we'll slide the coffee machine out of its plastic bag and uh, and as you can see from the design there this is uh, for those who've looked around at eBay uh, sorry, looked around at YouTube and uh, and coffee forums and, and reviews and that kind of thing. You'll have seen a device called the uh, Mini Presso. There's uh, one called the Hand Presso, which is like a, a bicycle pump. And there's one called the Mini Presso, which this is a copy of. Other than the fact that the, the plunger pump is angled, whereas on the Mini Presso it's straight up and uh, kind of looks a little bit like a submarine, I think. But uh, it consists of a espresso cup, which clips on the bottom there. This is the spout that you pour the espresso from, which unscrews like so. And that has a mesh filter inside, as you can see. This is your, um, your basket your portafilter basket as it were for the grounds. You've got a rubber seal down here which obviously seals the basket in like so with the grounds in and then a rubber seal up here which this bit seals into and then obviously the water is forced through the pumping motion through this uh, valve here down through there and obviously uh, through this whole assembly and then comes out of the nozzle at the end. Uh, I've got to say so far it's looking very very well constructed, very good thick quality and good threads and all the rest of it. And then at the other end here we've got the water reservoir and the seal here and obviously these are various valve components. That's obviously an inlet valve and I'm assuming that's a, a kind of a a, a pressure relief valve or something similar, the little rubber thing there, and some kind of seal down inside there, and then the water reservoir, which is kind of like a larger threaded version of your espresso cup, which has a max fill level 
just there underneath the thread where my fingernail is. So you fill that up with hot water and also inside there is the scoop stroke tamp which is cleverly designed. You scoop, scoop a, a level scoop of coffee grounds which equates to seven grams and what you do is cleverly designed in such a manner that you place your basket over like so and then you can just invert it tap out the coffee grounds straight into there and, and then use the, the rear side of it as a tamp to tamp down your coffee grounds. So it's, uh, it's very well thought out. So you'd fill this with hot water and obviously place it on like so, tightening it down. You'd have filled the coffee grounds in the nozzle which would have been, which what you can do with that is, oops, uh, fill the coffee grounds, you'd place it in like this and then place the nozzle on the top and screw that in. At which point you turn it over, undo your valve, pop it out and then you proceed to pump away and pump your espresso into your little cup. Now this is obviously in, a, in an out and about scenario if you were... Uh, well, you could also do this in, in the house while you use this, but uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, is we're going to go to the kitchen and I'm going to give this a quick flush through with some hot water just to make sure everything's clean and just pump some hot water through. And then we're going to go ahead and grind some coffee. I've got a really nice Nicaraguan Ginotega uh, light roast at the moment, which is a, a lovely bean. I'm going to go ahead and grind some coffee and we're going to make an espresso with it and see what it's like. I've given the mini presso clone a flush through with clean hot water. The unit itself is 375 grams. The water reservoir holds just over 80 millilitres, which is just over two ounces if you're in the US and you're working ounces. And that actually works out to about 84 grams of water. And what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do here is cover all bases for, uh, for everybody who works in, uh, in whether they weigh the water or whether they measure it or what have you. Now that immediately tells me it's going to give me quite a thin espresso because that's two ounces of water being expressed through seven grams of ground coffee which is what the the, uh, the portafilter basket, as it were, will hold. And um, as, you, as you know, obviously, if you know anything, if you like your espresso, you, you're looking at seven, between seven and nine grams is your typical single shot, which would be 30 millilitres or one fluid ounce. So what you could do is put less water in um, obviously the amount coming out is going to be less than the amount going in because some of it, some of it will remain in the coffee puck. So uh, this is why I'm, I'm going to weigh it um, to see how much we get out of the 84 grams that's going in and obviously the same in millilitres and I'm expecting to get the equivalent of about a double measure which would be about 60 millilitres or two fluid ounces. So what you could do is once you work that out and you like a strong espresso is actually just put enough water in to give you one fluid ounce or 30 millilitres for a single espresso and then double up on that with another another um, scoop of coffee if you wish afterwards. But we're gonna I'm just gonna put the whole thing through as per the instructions and we'll see what that tastes like. There we go, just run that through. That's preheated both the uh, the espresso device and the mug. I'm going to go ahead and fill up the uh, the porta filter basket with seven grams and we can double check that it is actually seven grams that the scoop holds. I'm going to get that filled up, get this assembled and uh, and get some more water in and we're going to pull an espresso shot. That is indeed seven grams. So to load the porta filter basket, Pop that in there, invert it, 
and the whole puck falls into, into there. Just tap that down. Even that out a little. And then as per the instructions, we're just going to use the back of the uh, scoop as a tamp, just to, I'm not going to press that too hard, but there we go. Now pop this onto here, making sure it sits correctly in the seal. Put the cap on there, screwing it on firmly and making sure it seals. And pop this back up, oh no we don't, we need to take this off here. And uh, we now need to get rid of this water and pop in some hot water. So just to make sure that we've got all the variables correct, I'm actually going to put 84 grams of water. There we go, 84 grams of water and then pop that into the reservoir. That should reset to zero. There we go. And as you can see, that takes that right up to the maximum fill line. And I'm going to screw this onto here. There we are. And start pumping and we'll see what yield we get. Now the, the uh, manual says that the first six pumps will actually pre-infuse the coffee and then subsequent ones will actually pump the coffee out. So here we go. Okay. That gets very firm. Very good workout for your fingers. And you can see already that that's actually blonding quite a bit, which as I suspected, you, you put in uh, quite a bit of water through a single shot's worth of espresso really. But we'll go ahead, extract the whole thing and see how it tastes. And pretty much as I suspected, what we've got there is actually about 60 millilitres or two fluid ounces of espresso. Uh, we've got quite a nice looking crammer and uh, that's uh, 66 grams of fluid um, is uh, the output is from 84 grams of uh, input fluid. But that's, uh, that's quite a nice looking crema there. Let me just bring this up closer and we'll focus in. There we go. But yeah, as you can, as you can see, that's, uh, it looks quite nice. I'm expecting this to be quite thin, as I say, because uh, sort of watery, because there's a double shot's worth. But I'm just gonna have a taste now. That is actually not bad at all. That's not bad, it's watery, which is pretty much what I expected. But that's really not bad at all for a hand pumped espresso device. That's really, really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, if I, if I was going to have a big cup of coffee, then what I want to do is actually pump this through twice uh, to make a, a double shot. But I'd, I'd want to use less water so that I was only extracting um, an ounce worth. But for just, uh, for a smallish cup of coffee while you're out walking, that's, that's really, really good. That tastes quite nice. Especially when you consider too, that uh, there were obvious signs of blonding, which is where you would stop a, an extraction on an espresso machine. So, Mm, that's that's quite a nice balanced flavour. It doesn't taste particularly a uh, very very slight hint of bitterness as you'd expect with an over extraction, but only very slight. So yeah, very pleased with that. So um, so just to go over 
the ins and outs of that are gay. The machine itself is a copy of the Mini Presso, which originally retailed for somewhere around £60, I believe, um, in the UK, and typically still retails now for about £50, which is far too much for something like this, to be honest. If you were serious about your espresso, you would be every bit as well saving that £50 towards a decent uh, consumer espresso machine, such as a Gaggia Classic or a Rancilio Silver. And uh, just for for the gadget factor of it, it's certainly too much. This particular one, as I say, is very, very well built. I'm really, really impressed with the build quality. For the price I was paying, I was fully expecting it to not be that great, but I'm really impressed. This was from eBay, and there are several available on eBay. Uh, they don't have a particular name. As I say, this was Greenhouse, I think it was. Uh, and uh, although that wasn't actually in the listing, I just I just did a search for espresso machines and I saw I happened to see it. And this was under £20 UK on eBay delivered. And there's several on there around about the sort of just under to just over £20 mark. And I think it's well worth every penny uh, of that. So a very, very good little... Uh, little handheld espresso machine. It's ideal also, you could even, uh, not that I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of grinding just before you actually intend to extract your coffee. Mm, just have another, it's really quite good that. And, uh, but if push came to shove, drinking pre-ground coffee is better than drinking instant any day of the week. So you could even fill your portafilter basket with a dose of pre-ground coffee, assemble the unit and, and just take that out with you um, to your regular sort of day job or whatever and, and extract yourself a nice, a decent cup of coffee. Um, you could keep it, if, if you're a driver maybe, it, it could be very handy, you could keep it in the cab of your, uh, your van or what have you, your truck or that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, yeah, very good. I mean, all you need, of course, is a hot water source. If you're out walking, camping, trekking, you're going to have that because you're going to build yourself either a campfire or you're going to have your, your little uh, camping stove so you can boil up some water. And it's well worth it. It's very, very good. I'm really, really impressed with that. Much more impressed than I, than I expected to be. I'm impressed with the build quality and I'm impressed, more impressed with the, with the taste than I, than I expected. I really, really am. One of the things that put me off the hand presso when I first saw that, that's the one that looks like a bicycle pump that you pump up and then you press a button to release it. One of the things that put me off that was you build up the pressure and then you press the button. And when you, if you watch any videos of that, you get a psh. So you get a sudden blast of nine bar pressure. Now, apparently this pumps out about eight bar and it's relatively consistent. Obviously, it's, it's reliant on you pumping, so it is going to vary a little. But with, with that one, you get a sudden blast of nine bar pressure and then it will drop spectacularly. You can pay a little bit more and get some with fancy sort of carry bags and what have you, which would make nice gifts. Uh, all you really need is a portable grinder, like my good old favourite um, Hario Slim conical burr grinder, which is my typical carry about. If I go anywhere, I take this and my AeroPress, which is my day-to-day -day, uh, coffee machine. Uh, I think I might be alternating it with this one now. So yeah, delighted with that. Very, very good. And uh, cheers, everybody. Mm. And what I'm going to do now is we're just going to flip over to the sink. And I'm going to have a quick sort of look to see how easy it is to, to clean the device out. Now the other beauty of this that's literally just occurred to me, as I'm op um, just opening this to rinse it, I've just realised of course that's completely unnecessary because the only thing that's gone through here is hot water. And it's pumped through and it has a one way valve. So you literally just have to give that a bit of a shake. And that bit's done, so that's great. So the only bit that you actually need to clean is, uh, is this bit here and uh, the coffee puck and looking at that that's pretty clean so i reckon a bit of a rinse and hopefully you can see that that's nice and clean and then the coffee puck itself which actually 
pops out nice nice and solid like you can see there that's fantastic look at that um obviously you just drop that straight into a bin and then uh, and give out the port filter basket to give that a rinse and then the top or bottom section whichever you'd call it that it uh, filters through um, now if I have to have a grumble about anything it's this here I can see this getting a bit um, over time I can see this getting some sort of coffee oils and bits and pieces down there and it would be nice to know if this if this can actually be disassembled for cleaning I don't know if it can it doesn't look like it and there's nothing in the instruction manual ind indicating that but there's obviously more gubbins in between the shower head plate and the nozzle than you can see so it would be kind of nice to know if that's actually user dismantleable I'll have to kind of look into that see if I can find anything but that aside other than I'm just going to run some hot water through that because I happen to have it handy but that's pretty much it and then it's clean and ready to reassemble and go again obviously if you've used the cup that clips onto this then you'd need to rinse that and give that a wipe out but uh, but that's pretty much a clean up so uh, nice and easy and straightforward um, excuse the mess of pots at the sink and what have you but uh, I didn't have time to clean up before I went ahead and did this bit so so there you go the um, mini presso clone um, portable espresso machine um, from unboxing to use and clean up I hope you found this useful and especially if you're thinking of getting one and uh, thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video